this is kind of an off the wall video, but I just thought I'd shoot it anyways. So I'm getting into a new hobby, and I might feature some of that on the channel. And I was in the market for a small, lightweight, portable vise, uh, something that I could mount, not permanently, but something you know that would be secure that could hold my work. I wanted to just be able to mount it on the um, side table next to like rec recliner or couch um, so I could use it while I'm watching TV. I wanted to be able to just mount it to the kitchen table, don't want to work in there. Um, and then I wanted to be able to mount it out in the workshop if I want to work out there. Um, but it's an unheated workshop, so especially in the winter, um, I never really like to go out there that much just because it's, it's so damn cold out there. Um, and I have a large a 6 or 7 inch permanently mounted vise out there, a cheaper one, but that, um, but for the hobby that I'm starting, that was a little bit overkill. So went on Amazon and I uh, just Googled um, a question, went on Amazon, typed in jewelers, like jewelry maker, a jeweler's vice, or a small <coughs> vice, diff some different uh, searches. And this one kept popping up. Um, so I was going to get another one that was about 15 bucks. You know, I just thought, what did I have to lose? Um, <clears throat> but this one, I recognized the name. The name is Bessie. Uh, this is called the Vacuum Base Vice. It's a two and three quarter inch um, jaw. So from here to here is two and three quarter. The jaw capacity, you know, I can spin it all the way out. But the jaw capacity this way is two and three quarter inches also. Um, it does come with, which it might be important to some, uh, jaw protector, or they're pretty much uh, jaw protectors, so they don't really protect the jaw, they protect the work that you're going to be working on. Um, so it's a soft rubber, so you can like, um, say you're working on a, a padlock, you know, especially this, it's like a brass body, so it could easily get marked up. But you can just crank on this. You know, I wouldn't recommend bearing down on it. But even like that, it's not moving. And then it has this multi-directional base, which pretty much, uh, there's a ball in here. Feels like a steel, steel ball in there. So you loosen that up, and then you can spin it 360 this way. You can angle it at whatever angle, and then it has a, a cutout right there. I'll flip this around. It has a cutout right here so you can go down towards the ground. Um, and it's kind of, it seems like it's hard, but it's because I um, didn't have that all the way loose. But as you can see, it's super basic. The ball sits in there. And just tighten this up real quick, and it's good to go. When you figure out what angle you want, you don't have to bear down on this, but you tighten it. You can see it's not going anywhere. Now, those are most of the features of this vise. Uh, and one more feature, it weighs three pounds. I weighed it on a scale. It actually weighs two pounds, 15.8 ounces. So it weighs three pounds, so it's not heavy at all. Um, this turn handle, again, I, I use vices, but I don't know all the like fancy terms, but pretty much what you use to tighten it, one of these caps comes off and you can take this off. Um, or if it ever bent, you could replace it. You can almost like, you could stick a screwdriver uh, handle in there or uh, something like that. 
And then these are just rubber kind of thread protectors. And then there's some threading on there. So if you wanted to trick this out, you could put, you know, some type of more fancy uh, screw on each end. And I am pretty sure, yeah, this one doesn't turn. So it's just one side that's threaded. It's made out of uh, aluminum. It seems a pretty, pretty good quality. Uh, all the edges are smoothed out. There's no like rough spots. Uh, as you get more down here, it gets a little bit rougher, you know, but it works. Now, pretty much the selling feature on this is the vacuum base. So you got a suction cup here. This is a sealed maple kitchen table. Probably 90% of you guys um, probably have a wooden kitchen table. So. Set it where you want it. I'll turn it this way. Set it where you want it. You take this handle, you press down just a little bit, you know, it's already kind of locked in there. There, it's locked. Okay. But I might speed the camera up a little bit. I'll bet you within three minutes this suction will be loose. So Let's see. And again, I'm not going to like just grab this and rip it off and say that it was loose. Um, I just want to, I'll measure it by the length of the video um, and I'll annotate it, but I'll probably speed this section up. It's still holding solid. And then especially, it seems like it makes it worse when you, uh, when you're actually using it. Still holding solid. There you go. See this handle? Didn't move at all. It's already locked down. Okay. So, another thing that I read, some people had this problem, and they said wipe the workplace down and the suction off with Windex. So, I have a kind of all-purpose cleaner. It's already on this paper towel. I mean, you don't need a lot, but just to get dust and grime, especially in the edges of the suction cup. Reset the suction. And you can see I'm, I'm putting some pressure and it's locked right there. And it's locked in there. So if I try really hard, the base of it's moving, but the vise is sliding around on the suction cup. So I mean, just pretend that you're, you know, working with it. Don't even have enough time to work with it. And it's loose again and again. Okay, so one of these problems could be, you know, wood is pretty porous, but this is sealed. It's smooth. There's no dings or anything, at least in this section. And see, it wants to stick. That's what's confusing. It wants to stick. Um, it's all smooth. So let's get this on another surface, a laminate countertop. Let's see how it does there. Okay, real quick. Let's get a little bit of grime off. Clean the suction off. Try not to make it super wet. Just clean some dust off. Okay.
press down, kind of center the vise. Again, pretend that you're working on it. Move the jaws around a little bit. Tighten it up. Still holding steady. This vise is rock solid. What does that tell us? Try and mount it on a laminate countertop or some other solid surface, metal, um, plastic. But if you think you can mount this thing wood, despite how smooth it is, um, I would look for another product. If you like this video, um, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to our channel.